to talk to Jen about what happened in this meditation. Um, so when I said to the horses, what do you want to have happen today? What needs to happen today? Uh, I looked over at Odie and she was like, come and meditate. Meditation is what needs to happen right now. And so I came over here and joined her. And as I sank into that space, she got it because she's the mom, right? And so she said to me, because of stuff I've been going through, she said, you have a mama wound. She said, you had a mama that loved you so much. But she couldn't, she didn't have enough sense of self. She didn't even know who she was to hold that earth, like the divine mother energy, which she does for Juno, where it's like, no matter what, I've got you. The mama bear, nobody touches you. They got to come through me. And so my mom wanted to love me that much. And I felt how much she loved me, but she couldn't. I know she couldn't do it, but her heart wanted to. Her heart wanted to love me like that. So that almost kind of, I feel her love, but it's not enough because it's not the right kind of love because she doesn't have it to give because she herself is not a complete female. She can't hold the, the divine mother energy and give that to her children. And so she said, you, you, you've looked for that ever since. You've been looking for that in your female friends. And she said, she basically said, this is what you've been looking for. And she streamed it into me. And, you know, she is like the Divine Mother. I've watched her with Juno from birth. She is the perfect role model for a balanced, masculine, feminine, earth mother role model and I've often said to her I wish that I had had her before I had my own kids because I would have been a better mother um, but she said can you open your heart and allow me to give that to you what you've been looking for your whole life and can you get it from me can you open to receive that and so that's when I felt the tears come and uh, just really entered that space of her flowing and ministering to me in that way mm. and you know it's it's coming from a horse but the horse is so connected to the divine it's like the same the horse is just the channel the conduit mm. for the divine earth mother mm. to come and just encircle and say what you've been looking for your whole life and it's okay that you've been looking for that it's right mm. it's what you should have had it's what everybody should have had if we can become those women mm. so you know in that way it's okay but receive it now receive it and so then I was like all the tears came up and I was like really the wounding came up and she let me she's so funny she lets me sit in it for like yeah you know I know she lets me sit in it for I don't know Odie what was it 20 25 30 seconds and then she boffed me. She literally went like, enough, snap out of it. Enough of sitting in the wounding. I've told you where the wounding is. You've opened to receive healing for the wounding. You got to feel it for 30 seconds now, move on. Move from the wounding, move into just the experience of the love and the placeholding mm -hmm. of that. And, and know that this is here for you at any time. I will be that mother for you. You can come here and you can receive that. So this lifetime feeling of, of being alone, like in the darkest of the dark, when everything is as turned to shit as it can be, my mother was not strong enough or able to be there for me. And she's like, I am, I am. And then I looked up and Juno was looking at me and I said, is it okay to share your mama? And he's like, of course. And so, and then it was, 
cool because Odie's like, you knew I, you know, I always want more babies. <laughs> this whole thing of, because when Maka came here and he was a stallion and she was like, I want, I need another baby. And I was like, I know you do, but there's, look how many horses. She's like, I'm a really good mother. I'm really good at this. I should do more. So it's kind of interesting that, oh, look, you can do more because <laughs> I can be your baby and you can be her baby. And like everybody who can come here who hasn't has that missing from that experience of a mother who's strong enough to hold that space for her children, to hold them with that continual, un it's like, it's a mix, it's unconditional love. It's that absolute protective mama bear, nobody gets to my child unless they kill me first. Mm -hmm. And that is like, so important for that place holding to have that level of mm -hmm. the mama bear Absolutely. or the wild horse who will, mm -hmm. you know, who will kill a lion before she lets it get to her baby. Um, and then balanced with that, snap out of it now. Enough, <laughs> enough bawling, enough of the, you know, okay, you got it. Now you receive the love, move on. Come on, let's go. And I've seen that with her with Juno, like Juno nurses all the time. But if he's fiddling around there, she gives him a kick. Or if he's not latched properly, she yeah. gives him a bite. She's like, smart up, latch on properly. Mm -hmm. And so that the soft with the, mm -hmm. the, the masculine of saying, come on, mm -hmm. action, behave, smart up, move on. Mm -hmm. um, but within this container mm -hmm. of this divine, unconditional love, and protectiveness and safety and enveloping. And so this is what they show me over and over. We come here with what we think needs to happen or what we think wants to happen and then they're like, okay, first of all, you need to happen. Because <laughs> until you get clear or you release what you've walked onto this property with, nothing else can happen. Your energy is holding you there. So 